Hey friends, and welcome back to Snow Globe Tumblr attempt number two. So last time all my glitter got stuck up at the top of my cup and I had to drain it. If you wanna see the video, I will link it below in the description, but I have decided it is time to attempt it again. So I have gone and picked out a couple of glitters. I'm going to be using these pink little flamingos as well as some of these silver little stars. Just because there are a couple little stars left in the cup that I used last time. I've also picked out a few fine glitters as well as a handful of chunky glitters. So I'm going all out. I've got my mica powder and glue water mix. It's like a really pretty pinkish silverish kind of color. So we're going to give that a try as well. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this one turns out better than the last one. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting these little flamingos in there first. They're super cute little guys. They're just cute little guys. They're cute. So I'll put those in there first. Oh, they went right in there. I'm normally not a big fan of pink, but flamingos are pretty badass little birds. It kind of feels like I'm depositing change in a change jar right now. <laughs> Deposit the flamingos in the flamingo jar for safe passage. I think that's plenty of flamingos. See, they're even trying to get stuck in that top. I wonder if it's just the top of it. Something weird's happening there. It's just like they get stuck up in there. I'm gonna actually, before I put too much of this like finer glitter in there, I'm gonna put a little bit of my glue and mica powder in there because I think it's something to do with the way that this cup is shaped down here. I think it's just easy for it to see they're just kinda, they're just kinda floating up there. They'll come out. But I worry that if I go ahead and put the smaller glitters in there that they will get trapped. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of this glue mixture in there. Look at that color. That color is like perfect. And hopefully that will help. Now that's really dark. You can't even see the little flamingos. So I will probably have to lighten that up just a little bit, but let's go ahead and add some stars. That's like super thick stuff too. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of water here. Now, I did not actually measure all of this out this time. I just kind of swagged it. So that could be why the glue is just a little bit thicker this time. So just add a skosh of water that will help push the things down too. There we go. All right, so that's working much, much, much better. So let's add the glitters. I'm gonna put them all in this little measuring cup first though, so I can just dump it once. Super pink. Just gonna do a little tiny bit of this at a time because I do not want it to clump. And so far it's not. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these chunkies in now just so I don't end up with too much of the fine glitter. You can't even really see it too much, so. This is like a silvery kind of color. If you can't tell, I make a huge mess out of stuff like this, like a huge mess. Okay. Some of my silver is like all kind of stuck in here, but I think when I fill it up, that will help a lot. So, so far it looks pretty darn good. All right, so now I'm just gonna add just a little bit more plain water just to kind of get that little bit of pink off the side. Spritz. Oh, 
spritz up there. All right. So it's like super dark right now. You can't even hardly see, you really actually can't see the flamingos. So I'm going to, yeah, see I have some of it sticking up in the top. It's not near what it was last time though. So I'm going to add more water because that is, it's really kind of chunky. So I'm just gonna add some more water to it. Has anybody else like really had that happen like a lot where the glitter just no matter what just wants to stick to the bottom because I can dump it over and it just stays there. So it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. I thought it was just the fine glitter doing it, but it's actually the stars doing it too. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the cups. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit just to try to get those bubbles to go away and see if I can't, you know, shake that kind of loose. So be back. All right, so the bubbles have gone away mostly. So this feels like it's still a little bit kind of on the thicker side. So I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Now it looks like it's clumping back up, but it has been falling down as I shake it. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. It seems to be working. That does look really cool though. You can see the little flamingos. So I'm going to, I guess I'm going to drop it. Um, I'm going to let it sit to let some of those air bubbles kind of work their way up to the top and then see if I have room for just a little bit more water so I don't have that huge that huge gap you can see there there's a pretty big gap so I'm gonna let it sit for a bit and see if those bubbles will come up to the top and then there they come and top it off give it a good shake and we'll seal it up so I was going to let this sit overnight just to let all of the air bubbles come out but I've been kind of watching it and I haven't seen any air bubbles coming up for quite a while so I'm gonna go ahead and seal it up. So I'm gonna clean this top part off with some alcohol just to make sure it's good to go. I'm gonna try to use these little bumpers, but I'm a little nervous because when I was playing with this one in here, it does seem like my hole is like the perfect size for it. So I'm a little worried that it's not going to quite seal it up good enough around the edges, but we're definitely gonna give it a try. I'm a little worried it's just gonna push all the way through. Yeah, it's pushing through. So we're gonna go to the backup plan. Everybody I've seen, if they don't use the bumpers, they use this Gorilla Glue Epoxy. So I'm going to do that. I've heard this part is very important and that you need to definitely mix it for 20 seconds. So we'll go with that. All right, so I think it's been 20 seconds. So I'm just gonna get a good goop of this and we're just going to plug this hole. Okay, so looks like hole is plugged. So now we'll wait for 30 minutes and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this, but that Gorilla Glue did not quite fill up that hole. So I have an alternative. I'm going to use some UV resin and I'm just going to go right here. Don't know how well that's gonna work either, but gonna give it a crack. Let's just kinda flatten that out just a bit. And 
cook it. And this resin says with the light that I have to cook it for two to four minutes. I'm going to do it just a little bit longer though, just to make sure that it actually like does get nice and hard. All right, so the hole is plugged now, but just to give this more of a uniform kind of feel to it, so it's not just that spot, I'm going to take some more of this and just put a nice thin layer all the way across just so it has a nice smooth uniform feel to it and we'll bake it okay hole should be sealed but just for caution and there it is well, I totally brain farted filming, putting the decal on my little flamingo tumbler, but here it is. This is what the finished one looks like. It says, shut the flock up, give it a good shake. And voila, it looks absolutely fabulous. I love it. The decal totally changed the way this cup looks entirely. You can see the little flamingos up at the top. You can see them at the bottom. It's just, it's wonderful. I'm just, I'm super happy with how it turned out. So yeah, tumbler number two is officially in the books and I think it looks wonderful. I think it turned out better than I thought. The decal made a huge, huge difference. So 